Welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. This is episode 7, The Treehouse. And if you remember back to episode 6, the main character, you, were given a seed to a tree from an alien planet and asked to plant it on Earth. Just close your eyes, lay back in your bed, let yourself sink into the mattress and cozy up with the blanket and just imagine. You wake up in the morning very excited. Spaceship, you say? I think today we better find a place for that tree. That is a good idea, says the spaceship. Where do you think we should plant it? Well, I was thinking about that. At first I wanted to plant it in the backyard, but then I figured my parents might wonder why there's an alien tree in the backyard. So next, I figured we better go find somewhere really remote, like somewhere in the middle of nowhere, really high up where nobody would find it. That is a great idea. Would you like breakfast first? Says the spaceship. Uh, sure, you say? Good. I cooked pancakes. You cooked me breakfast? Yes. Come see. The spaceship flies up in the air and flies out your door. When you don't immediately follow it, it pops back in to see where you are, and seems to motion, come with me. You follow the spaceship out the door, and all the way to the kitchen. When you get into the kitchen, you see that there's a giant pile of pancakes. Wow, you say. That's a lot of pancakes. Um, probably more than I can eat. Uh, thanks, you say? You go and eat a whole plate of pancakes until you're very full, and say, Spaceship, let's get going. You get your shoes and coat on, and you run out the door. Spaceship grows larger and larger and larger, until it's the size of a full-size spaceship. A hatch in the back opens, and you climb on in. You go to the control center, and you set the destination to a nearby forest. Spaceship flies you all the way there, over trees, and mountains, and hills, and lakes. Eventually, You come to a huge hill with nothing on the top of it. This looks like the perfect place, spaceship. Land there. The spaceship flies down on top of the hill and lands. Spaceship, do you have anything that's good for digging? Yes, says spaceship. I have this automatic digging shovel. Out of the front console pops a hand with something that looks really just like a long stick with a button on the end and an arrow pointing in one direction. What's this, you say? This is a laser shovel, says the spaceship. How do you use a laser shovel, you say? You point it at the dirt you want to remove and press the button. Does it, like, blast the dirt out of the way, or how does, how does that work? You will see, says the spaceship. Okay, sounds good. You grab the laser shovel and walk out the back hatch. You find a perfect place in the middle of the mountain. You pull out the laser shovel, point it at the ground, and press the button. Suddenly, the bottom of the laser shovel 
transforms into a laser shovel. That is, the bottom of it becomes shaped like a shovel, but made out of laser. Oh, well that's disappointing, you think? I'm still going to have to dig. Oh well. You start digging away one shovelful at a time, throwing the dirt out of the way until you've created a pretty good-sized hole. You take the seed from the spaceship and bring it outside to the hole. You place it in the ground, and then you use the laser shovel to throw all the dirt back on top and pat it down. Spaceship, I think we could probably use some water. On it, says the spaceship. An arm with a cannon on it pops out of the spaceship, pointed right at where you buried the seed. The cannon shoots a huge blast of water onto the seed until it's completely soaked. I really hope this alien tree grows in the same way as earth trees. I never really thought about that. Yes, trees can be very different on different planets. In fact, I normally would not recommend planting an alien tree on Earth as there could be dire consequences. Dire consequences? Why didn't you tell me about this before? We better unplant it before it turns into a... That's when you hear rumbling behind you. The rumbling grows louder and louder until suddenly a tree blasts out of the ground behind you, throwing earth up in the air and making you fly up into the air as well, back onto your side. Oof! You land with a huge thump. What is that? You look up in the air, and you see the biggest tree you've ever seen in your life. It looks pretty much like you'd imagine for a tree. That is, if the trees you were used to were about 60 feet wide and thousands of feet high and made from sort of a greenish color instead of a brownish color for the bark. That is one serious tree. Let's go check it out, you say to Spaceship. You press a button on your watch that causes a spacesuit to fold out from it and wrap around your body like armor. Once the spacesuit is completely covering your body, You think about flying, and blasters pop out of both of your feet and both of your hands, shooting you up into the air. As natural as can be, you will yourself to fly upwards, and you do. You and Spaceship, who's now grown small again, fly up and up and up and around the tree. After getting hundreds of feet high, you find a large platform on the top of the tree where the branches start to shoot out to either side. It's almost level. You land at the top of the tree and say, Spaceship, I have an idea. Let's create a tree house. That is a great idea. What is a treehouse? Asks the spaceship. Well, a treehouse is exactly what it sounds like, spaceship. It's a house that's in a tree. It's in the name, treehouse. Oh, says spaceship. That makes sense. What would you like to build it out of? Um, I was wondering if you could kind of 3D print a house and then have robots put it up, maybe? Yes, 
that would be possible. Great, great, you say. Let's get going on that. Okay. Suddenly, Spaceship grows large and lands on the ground. Out of Spaceship pops five robots carrying a huge mechanism. They plant the mechanism on the middle of the tree, and it starts moving and glowing, and then something appears in the middle of it. What's that, Spaceship? That is the 3D printer. They will print components and start building. I've taken the time to come up with some drawings. What do you mean you took the time? Like you took that last two seconds to come up with plans? Yes, my brain works much faster than yours. Look at the plans. The spaceship shoots out a hologram that shows a picture of an amazing metal and wood treehouse that's built perfectly into the space at the top of the tree. Yeah, you say. That, that looks pretty good. How long will it take you to build that? Not long, says Spaceship. The robots get right to work. The printer first prints three more printers to make things faster. And then each of the printers starts working away, creating components like beams and walls and chairs and TVs and furniture and everything you can imagine that goes into a house. As quickly as they're printed, the robots put them up. You watch in amazement as an entire treehouse comes together right in front of your eyes. Wow. This looks amazing, you say to Spaceship. Thank you. Do you want to explore? Yes, yes I do. You and Spaceship go inside the house. You see that it's more than one story high. Downstairs, there's a living room with a gigantic TV and a really comfortable looking couch and a kitchen area. When you go upstairs, you see that there's a bedroom and a sleeping area. Well, Spaceship, I think this will do just fine. It's then that you hear a really loud roar. What? What's that? You look down from the tree and if you look closely enough, you think you see something hitting the bottom of the tree and growling? You use the helmet of your spacesuit to zoom in, and you can see a picture of a gigantic bear attacking the tree. You fly up into the air with your spacesuit on and down to see the bear. When the bear sees you, he starts growling loudly. He jumps at you to attack, but you quickly fly out of the way and dodge him. He keeps coming after you, growling. He looks very angry. Um, I don't think he likes the tree, you say to Spaceship. I think you might be right. This is an abnormally large bear. I think it has somehow mutated into some sort of mutant bear. Great description, you say to Spaceship. Just great. Anyway, what are we going to do about the bear? I don't know. Uh, that's a lot of help. Okay, well, I'll try to get it with a sleep dart. You point your wrist forward at the sleep dart and shoot one towards the bear out of the arm of your spacesuit. The bear just flicks it aside, no effect, and starts running straight at you. You dodge out of the way again and try to hit it with another sleep dart. Again, he just hits it out of the way, no effect. You fly up out of the way of the bear again. Spaceship, we need some ideas. 
Uh, scan the area for something. Try to figure out why the bear is mad. Scanning the area. A light pops out of the spaceship and shines down on the mountain. Oh, says the spaceship. I think I know what's wrong. What's that, you ask? The roots from the tree have grown into the bear cave below. We ruined his home. Oh, no, we did? Yes, you did. What, what was that? I'm the bear. You come here and put this alien ship in and just think you own the place, huh? Says the bear. Um, uh, we didn't mean... You can talk? Why can you talk? What do you mean, why can I talk? Have you ever talked to many bears? How do you know they can't talk? I was pretty sure they couldn't, but you're right. I've really never tried to talk to a bear. And that's right. We're just shy. We can talk all we want, but we just don't like to, because talking's annoying. Okay, um, I'm sorry I ruined your home. I wonder if there's anything we can do to make it up? Well, you could make me a new home. Well, actually, we might be able to do that. Do you like living up really high? No, I hate living up really high. I like to be in a cave. Oh, you say. Well, how about that cave in the tree right there? You point to the side where there's a giant cave in the middle of the tree. I never noticed that. Well, that might work. Let's go check it out. You go check out the cave. It's a pretty big cave inside a 60 foot wide tree. You look around, yeah, plenty of space in here. I agree, but you ruined all my stuff too. My stuff is ruined. I can replace pretty much anything you're missing. My uh, spaceship here has a 3D printer. What's a 3D printer? Um, a 3D printer is like a printer that prints things instead of just putting pictures on paper. What's a printer? Um, you know what? Let's just say it's a thing that makes stuff. Let's not think about it too much. You're a bear. I sure am, says the bear. Okay, well, anyway, Spaceship, can you uh, help this bear out? Give him anything he might need. On it, says the Spaceship. Suddenly all of the robots fly down and start filling the bear cave with things. TVs, warm beds, and even a food dispenser. This should be good, says the spaceship. Um, yeah, this is way better than what I had. Uh, thanks for ruining my home, says the bear. Uh, you're welcome. Anyway, uh, I better go to bed. I'll just be up in the tree if you need me, you say. You fly back up in the air and blast up to the top of the tree, land in front of the house, and go inside. You walk up the stairs, press the button on your watch, which makes your spacesuit disappear, and crawl into bed. You pull the covers up over yourself. You close your eyes and let yourself sink into the covers and into the bed and into the pillow. You notice if there's any tension in your feet and you try to relax them and let them go. Then you do the same with your legs, just letting them relax and sink into the bed. And then the same with your arms, just letting them relax and sink into the bed. And then your head and your face letting go of all tension and letting yourself drift off to sleep.